Okay, dudes, on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, I went ahead and I purchased another At Games Bitpixel LED marquee. This one I'm going to use exclusively with the At Games Legends pinball machine. Now, there's some pros and cons to this. This is going to be part one of a series of videos on why you should or should not do this as an add-on accessory for your pinball machine. And let's get right to it. Okay, dudes, we are back. Now, if you've been a follower of my channel, you know I really like these BitPixel LED marquees. Make sure you check out the Pixelcade BitPixel playlist on my channel. Everything you need to know about these devices, tutorials, walkthroughs, reviews is in that playlist. Now, what's really interesting about the Akim's Legends pinball machine is we do have some very interesting flexibility when it comes to using this marquee with your device. So for instance, in part one of this video here, we're going to show you how this thing is compatible with the built-in Gottlieb games, as well as all of those games on that flash drive. That's right. That's my dedicated pinball flash drive X that has my add-on games that we've purchased via download packs, the Zacharia games, as well as the Tato games. I have that USB plugged in, as well as I have the USB cable for the BitPixel marquee plugged in, and that's it. If it's your first time connecting your BitPixel LED marquee with your cabinet, you want to go ahead and navigate over to the App Store X on the top row of, of menu options, and underneath there you're going to find Pixelcade X. Once you navigate to Pixelcade X and hit the Start button, you'll have two options on the bottom of the screen. You click on the Start button again and it'll say, what do you want to do? Do you want to install it? What do you want to do? If you've never done it before, obviously you want to click on Install and let it install. You'll notice on this particular, I think I have about a 64 gigabyte flash drive totally dedicated just to the flash drive X on this At Games Legends pinball machine. So this thing's not gonna take up very much space at all on this flash drive. We'll have room to add more and more of these game packs coming soon from At Games, because you know there's gonna be a lot more in the future. Now, once it finishes installing the Pixelcade X program, the next time you click on it, and hit start again, you're going to see some very interesting menu options. Just click on the start button. And right here, you'll see a little toggle switch to allow Pixelcade X to start automatically upon next reboot. I would go ahead and default this to on if you're going to leave your Pixelcade marquee plugged in at all times to your arcade cabinet via USB hub, especially if you have multiple, multiple devices connected to your pinball machine, your PC, or if you just have the Pixelcade connected by itself. And then after that, you go ahead and you click on Start to Launch, and it'll blink a couple of times and do the same thing you see on the arcade cabinets. It'll say, Welcome to Pixelcade X. As you guys are aware, whenever we try to capture footage of these BitPixel marquees, due to auto-dimming features built into these cameras, it doesn't truly capture the greatness and brightness of these marquees. So they do look a little dull and dark in the video, but I'm sure anyone who can comment on the video description will can attest that the marquee itself looks great. Now here's one of the cons. The Legends Pinball Machine is nowhere near as wide as the Ekim's Legends Ultimate Arcade Machines, which is what these are traditionally built for. So of course, if you try to park it on top of the cabinet, you're going to want to brace it, use some kind of L brackets or adhesive strips or something to keep it from falling down, cracking your monitor, cracking uh, your glass, covering your monitor, etc. I can totally see that happen this falling down and hurting your machine and also it's just too big and wide and honestly looks kind of silly just sitting on top of the machine i've been saying this for a long time now however the wall mount kit that comes with the bitpixel led marquee is the way to go so for instance if i'm going to keep this dedicated to the pinball machine i'm going to mount this on the wall directly behind the cabinet now, what does the marquee do for the included games as well as your uh, Zacharia games and your Taito game packs that you purchase and download separately? Well, it does add the marquee just like it would on the At Games Legends Ultimate. So now you have a nice dynamic LED marquee for every pinball game as you switch games or as you play games, it'll have that marquee. That's pretty much as far as it goes with the included games. You're gonna get a lot more features by using this along with your uh, PC for uh, bringing your own games, uh, PC builds, which we're gonna cover in the part two of this series. But just if you're happy enough with this and wanna have this hanging on the wall above and directly behind the machine, it's gonna look great. I have to remount that uh, painting behind this pinball machine and you'll see that in part two, I'll have this all set up in the next video hanging on the wall behind the machine. 
And that's just my personal opinion because although this looks really cool as you're cycling from game to game, the marquee will change along with the marquee on the back glass. If you ask me, it's a nice bonus touch when using your uh, pinball machine to have this. Um, it looks kind of silly sitting on top of the machine because it's just too dang big. It's definitely going to look placed. It's gonna, definitely going to look better placed further back and mounted on the wall right above the machine. And as you can see, if a marquee needs added like Frontline, a recently released game, we'll see that in an update pushed out by At Games soon. Another reason not to just sit it on top of the back box like this is if it's pushed all the way to the front of the edge of the back box, you'll notice we had a big glare on the screen. Because not only do you get the glare from the Legends Pinball logo on the actual back box, but adding this on top of it, you get double the glare on your screen. You definitely don't want that as well. That's why mounting this further back on the wall so it doesn't reflect on the screen is the preferred way to go. So as you can see, part one of this quick video series is pretty simple. Just uh, getting it all plugged in. Uh, to your cabinet, installing the software, activating the software, and boom, it's compatible with your cabinet, with your built-in games, as well as the Zacharia and Tato add-on games. Very easy part one. Can't wait to show you guys what we're going to do with part two and three. And just to give you a little bit of a teaser here, so of course we're going to mount the marquee on the wall behind the pinball machine, and we'll show you how to get the marquee connected to your PC in order to use it as an actual DMD when playing your, uh, your bringing your own pinball games to the Legends pinball machine. So it won't just be a marquee static image like this, it'll actually be a, a, an actual DMD. And it actually looks really cool. And part three of this quick video series is gonna be my favorite. We're gonna show you a proof of concept. What if we had a BitPixel LED marquee that fit right above the included 15.6-inch uh, back glass from At Games. What if that was mounted there in the Legends Ultimate logo area? As you can see there, it's perfect fit. We just gotta find a way to get it mounted perfectly, and will this work, and will this look cool? That way you would have a smaller marquee fitting directly inside the stock back box included from At Games. Can't wait to get to part three of this series. Hope you enjoyed part one. Part one was fast and easy. Can't wait to show you guys parts two and three. Let me know your comments and feedback below. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this quick series I'm doing. And definitely, guys, if, uh, give me a thumbs up on the way out if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for subscribing.